So I may not sound angry, but I'm angry as fuck. And one of the reasons I'm angry as fuck is for this particular reason. I have a love letter for our lesbian premier, this of a black gay man. Kathleen Wynne, I want you to know that your SIU is absolutely broken. Your police forces are absolutely broken. That black communities will not rest until we have control of communities and of police in our communities. The SIU is a pale, pale, pale form of what black communities demanded 25 years ago. We demanded community oversight of police. We did not demand police investigating police and exonerating them. So we're back to where we were 25 years ago. We're demanding community oversight of police in our communities. Nothing less will do. Nothing less will do. I want to add to this that we're coming up to an election. And because we're coming up to an election, we got to make it count. And we want Ms. Venn to know. We want Michael Kuto to know. We want Mixie Hunter to know that we're going to hold them accountable. We're going to hold them accountable. We're going to come into their neighborhoods and their constituencies, and we're going to organize against them. We're going to insist that they be accountable to us. And if they can't be accountable to us, they're going to have to lose their seats in Parliament. So what we're calling for is a different way of doing black politics in this city, a different way of doing black politics in this province, and a different way of doing black politics in this country. Last week, so-called government leaders from across this country, black government leaders from across this country met in this city to discuss issues pertaining apparently to black communities across this country. When have any of you seen a black government official come out and say anything about a carnage being enacted on black people in this country? Never. Never. We will hold them to account. Yes. We will call their names. Yes. We will show up in their communities. Yes. We will organize against them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. And by saying that, that does not mean that Andrea Hovarth or Patrick Brown are off the hook. Yes. We will organize against you too. Yes. We will hold you accountable. Yes. And let's be clear, we will hold all of the major yes. anti-black white supremacist institutions of this country accountable. Yes. From the CBC yes. to the Globe and Mail yes. to the University of Toronto, yes. we will hold all of you accountable. Yes. The time for begging is over. Yes. We will seize the lousy citizenship, the lousy second class citizenship that black people have been offered in this place, and we will demand better. Yes. We will make better happen. Whenever black people organize, better happens. Whenever black people organize, change happens. Then they have to steal it from us. We always make change, they then steal it from us. I'm gonna say two more things. One of the things that I wanna say is, back in the 1990s, this is to my Somali folks, back in the 1990s, in Dixon, not far from here, when the police was beginning to enact their violence on Somali communities, I remember reading in the pages of now a quotation from a Somali elder who said, we're gonna have, and he said, Somalis are gonna have to teach their young people how to be black in Canada. Well, let me tell you folks, you've become black. You've become black because you've entered the zone of the Americas. And when you enter the zone of the Americas, you, be, you end up to dance into the rhythms of anti-black middle passage racism. You end up dancing to the rhythms of ongoing white supremacy. So by saying that, it's not, to, it's, not to, it's not to distinguish or not to erase or differences across various black communities, but it's to recognize that the thing that is going down here is about this country's ongoing relationship to how it imagines black people, regardless of what your history is, regardless of where you come from. This is an anti-black place. And we've got to organize with that in mind. The last thing I want to say is, it's absolutely imperative, it's absolutely imperative that we understand that the system that we're challenging is a deeply flawed and broken system. It's not a system that can be reformed, it's a system that has to be dismantled and remade. 
and the time has come to stop ask to stop asking for reform. The time has come to work towards serious dismantling and remaking. Our lives depend on it. Yes.